I'm Jaime Hayon, and uh, we're here in, uh, in London today in the Seisho Room uh, for the London Design Festival, presenting this uh, new collection I've designed for, for them. Uh, it's quite a challenging collection because we use very many different materials, and uh, it was for me a very uh, interesting learning process, you know, a collection in which I had so much fun also doing, and uh, I hope people can enjoy it as much as I did. <laughs> One of the most uh, interesting pieces was the arpa chair. I call it arpa because in Spanish, arpa is like the, the harp, like the instrument. You have the really small strings, really small wires, and the whole, um, uh, let's say, the whole uh, shape of it is sort of holding you in a specific way. On the other side, it has a contrast, which is um, the fact that we've made all the upholstery with uh, feathers. It has a very, very comfortable and laid-back sort of uh, look. And, well, I invite people to sit in there because it's really comfortable. <laughs> but it's quite interesting, you know, this sort of contrast in between a very transparent chair, but at the same time, a piece that has quite an iconic feel. On the other hand, uh, we've made this other chair, which I call Beatly, which I call it Beatly because it's based on a beetle, really, that has really small legs and uh, quite a, a bigger body. <laughs> so the inspiration really came from there. And in general, uh, that's what I do. I get inspired by looking at um, at images and things, you know, and, and from them I can, I can really get some ideas out. And I think that's what I did with this collection, is try to, to get inspired of, of what you see, observing differently. And, you know, I really I felt that in the space we needed some drawings and we needed to tell a story around. And so I invented, I invented this sort of uh, character that goes around the space, which uh, it's surrounded by the pieces and so on. So, you know, I always like this combination. It's not necessarily the most important, but uh, I'm someone that really starts from a drawing, and uh, I guess people have seen that from a lot of the works I've done before. I like to research always in a, in a material. I mean, I feel, I feel like uh, when you get deep into, into a specific material, you can really learn, and knowing its history is very interesting because sometimes you can refer to that history to create uh, a piece. I mean, a piece can be based on a, on a specific moment of history, or it can be based on a technique that was done in a specific time. For example, in ceramics and porcelain, uh, it happens to me a lot, you know, the fact that uh, a specific time or technique or um, a material that was uh, suddenly put into, into the process uh, just click on me for, you know, create something new. So I think to know about history and to know about techniques like that is, is the most interesting thing when you create stuff, you know. I am someone that feels like the, the design is never finished with a sketch. I feel like there's a very important part of the relationship you have to have with artisans in general. And I'm really proud to say that in the last 10 years that I've been working in design, uh, I've met some of the most interesting people going around, you know, in France, in Italy, in England. And I think this is what I like the most of, of this profession is that um, it is like a world in which you can immerse yourself into all these different uh, characters, in which, in, into all these different adventures, going around on the road and <laughs> meeting people in the bronze factory, in the metal factory, in the marble place, and get to know that uh, that little detail looks better than that other one, and that little thing there it can be much more interesting than that one. And you know, it's like a laboratory. You know, it's like this is exactly why this profession is beautiful: is that you can really enjoy. It. And um, and this, this collection, I must say, that it has been a very enjoyable collection. It started with a very simple relation, a very simple conversation in London, and um, it has brought us to create this in, in a year. So, you know, really proud of that, really happy about that.